Okay, so we are going to do a comparison now on the um, DJI Pocket 2 against the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 depending what part of the world you live in. But to make a fair comparison, because Sony's got horrible stabilization on its own without a gimbal, we put it on a gimbal. As you can see here, we put the camera on a gimbal and we're going to test it out against this little guy on a gimbal because this little guy is always on a gimbal it's basically a camera built on a gimbal so we're going to see the difference and we both now we have fair comparison with both of them all right so we're just going to walk around this park and and film and see what colors look better from which camera what has better stabilization and what sounds better the uh, I'm using external mics for both cameras I'm using the uh, external mic that came with the package on the DJI pocket 2 when you buy a combo package you'll get the external microphone that you can attach so in case there's wind you don't get any audio distortion and against the uh, Rode Wireless Go, which is attached to the Sony ZV-1. We'll see what sounds better. And one thing I want to point out, I did another video on the comparison of the two mics on the actual DJI Pocket 2 because the original microphone that came with the package the external mic has a hissing sound it has an external hissing sound well an internal hissing sound anyway it's like a long beep if you listen carefully put your ear against your microphone you can hear it it's very faint but it's there it still sounds good the external microphone but because of that audio issue it's a it's a bit of a drawback you know it's a negative nonetheless but uh, DJI said they're going to address the uh, issue and fix it with a new firmware update down the road now they could do that if it is definitely in the firmware but if it's not and it's in the hardware then they can't fix it if it's in the module because it's a module that connects to the bottom of the DJI to make it wireless therefore the wireless microphone could connect to the camera I don't understand why they just didn't put it inside the camera and you have to connect the uh, wireless I guess so they can sell external components for people to spend more money but it's not right DJI should have made the pocket 2 basically um, a wireless uh, camera where you can attach anything wirelessly whether it's Bluetooth or you know, uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphones and so on. But uh, they didn't. Nonetheless, if it's in the module, they cannot fix it. And if it's in the actual mic, they cannot fix it because it's all hardware related, not nothing to do with the um, software. So we'll wait and see what happens. It's a beautiful park here. It's actually freezing outdoors, guys. It's below zero degrees that's below 32 Fahrenheit it's in the 20s but I got my gloves on so that should help a little anyway it's so cold and there's a there's a beautiful dog there you go nice park people walking their dogs around and uh, yeah so look at the colors on the Sony because apparently the Sony according to uh, many reviewers online not according to Sony mind you so uh, many many people online say that the ZV-1 has the best color signs than any of the Sony cameras now going forward when this uh, camera was manufactured a few months ago going forward apparently they're putting the same color signs into all their cameras so Sony's uh, mastered the color signs making it as natural as possible 
whereas the GoPros, especially the uh, 9, uh, over exaggerates all the colors. It gives, it gives you a, a, a neon green and a, a really um, a neon type of blue. Like They're not realistic colors. It's not what you see in real life. They're very vivid. A lot of people might like that, but a lot of people do not. I personally don't. I want to see the video back in its natural environment, natural colors. And what I saw in real life is what I want to see on the screen. I don't want to boost up the colors. For what? That's not what I saw, and that's not real uh, realistic. If I want to do that, I'll just, you know, hit vivid on my TV screen, which I don't like to do anyway. A lot of people like vivid colors, which is why they get... Uh, the vivid, uh, they get all those colors on display in every Best Buy. When you go into their stores, you'll see all their TVs in, in a big, you know, great vivid setting, which is horrible. You don't judge a TV like that. As a matter of fact, it's, it's the worst way to judge a TV. It's not how you should be buying a TV. Nonetheless, and uh, the DJI Pocket 2's actually got pretty good colors too. It's not 100% exactly like that what you see, but it's close to it. It's close to it so now depending on you know the iso that you have it on each of the colors will will vary okay so depending on what i so the uh, sony is right now is the 200 iso the dji is at, at 100 maxed out at 200 so if it needs to be at 200 it'll boost it up to 200 maximum so i have not set it to max at 400 or 800 or 1600 i only set it to max out at 200 to make it a fair comparison between the two cameras. And they're both f1.8, which is good. Still a little bit of panning. When the Sony's on a gimbal, it actually has excellent stabilization, just like the DJI Pocket 2 does, or any camera for that matter that's stabilized via a gimbal. So when you do walk, it'll be nice and smooth. It won't be up and down shaking everywhere. Now the Sony does not have good stabilization if you take it off the gimbal. So it actually makes the camera, look at it, pretty big to carry around in comparison to a little DJI, okay? Big, big difference, folks. Okay, you got to carry around a big thing here. I just wish Sony had perfected their stabilization. It's got two modes. It's got a standard and an active stabilization mode. They both don't help. The active actually zooms in and cuts out, uh, cuts off the uh, 4K picture to stabilize it. And the standard is very basic. It's not that. It's not good at all. So. And what kills me is Sony was the master of stabilization in the past. Okay, so uh, four years ago, in 2016, they developed this technology where they had stabilization in their lens. Uh, they called it BOSS, B-O-S-S. -S. Uh, stands for Balance Optical Steady Shot. And what it was, it was like a, a floating lens. The lens actually floated inside the camera. It was sick, technology amazing, still exists today, but they haven't really pursued it as much. I don't know why they haven't included that system inside all their cameras. It kicks butt, okay? It makes stabilization almost like a gimbal. Uh, Sony executives have said when they did release it, it's like putting a gimbal inside your camera now they do have it on their action cam and they have it on another 4k camera uh, and i think that's about it i have not seen it in any other dslr or any any uh you know uh, mid-size camera or even uh, a smaller camera it doesn't matter what size cameras uh, you decide to buy from sony imagine if they had that system built into all their cameras I don't know why they don't. They're still advertising it on their website. I just wish future cameras have uh, that technology in them. If they can come up with that technology, 
into their systems, into all their camera systems, then they would lead every camera manufacturer. I don't understand why they let companies like GoPro and other companies catch up with electronic image stabilization and so on, which is not the same as having optically balanced via a lens and or a gimbal. So even though the GoPros do a phenomenal job stabilizing the picture, it's still not the same. You can still see the difference from a gimbal to an electronic image stabilization system, EIS. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick little video to showcase the difference between these two cameras. And that's what this video is about. You let me know in the comments whether this is, uh, this is as good as the Sony or vice versa, which gives you the better stabilization. Is it the Sony on a gimbal or is it the DJI Pocket 2 on a gimbal? And which one sounds better? If, like I said, if you listen to the sound of either camera right now, you're going to hear the difference. Okay, now we have a vlogging situation. This is what it, it would look like if you were to buy these cameras and you were to walk around vlogging. One has a 20 millimeter field of view, which is the DJI Pocket 2. The other one has a 24 millimeter view, which is the Sony ZV-1. So, a lot of people don't like the Sony because of its field of view. It's not wide enough. Uh, granted, I, I do agree with them as well. 24 millimeters is not a good vlogging uh, lens. It's, it's just too close. And you don't get stabilization on top of that either. The, the uh, standard stabil stabilization on the Sony actually sucks. And so does the active. They're, they're both pretty bad. And if you use the active, it'll crop in even more. Whereas on the uh, DJI Pocket 2, you have a 20 millimeter lens and it's, it's perfect actually. It's, you know, it's absolutely amazing, 20 millimeters. And you can add the add-on lens that comes with the uh, combo package that makes it 16 millimeters. So if you need wider, you got it all optically too. Over here with the Sony, you're not going to get, you can't get it any wider. And to add another lens on top of that, you have to buy a special type of lens and kind of glue it on. It's stupid. It's, 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 a, it's a waste of time. It makes the camera heavier too. And uh, again, you need a gimbal regardless. The Sony will not stabilize itself properly without a gimbal. So you be the judge. A lot of people who bought this camera like it, but for vlogging, they realize that it's not that good because it's way too close than they want. The DJI, mind you, is perfect for now, at least for me it is. A lot of people want it a little bit wider. Again, I, like I mentioned earlier, the lens comes in handy, but with the Sony, you can't really add anything to it. So even if you get an aftermarket, um, do-it-yourself type of kit with, with a wider lens, it's still not that good. I've seen people do it and it doesn't look good anyway. So hopefully on the next release, Sony will release uh, the ZV-2 with a wider lens, optically stabilized via BOSS, B-O-S-S. -S. I know Sony's not watching, but I'm sure one day they'll realize how they screwed up and they should just put their balanced optical steady shot, which is a floating lens, inside this camera. Guys, research it, look it up online, see any cameras that they've released that has the BOSS system into it, and you'll see how stable it is. No gimbal required, just the camera itself. It's absolutely amazing. So until that comes out uh, into one of their cameras, I know the action camera has it, but in one of these cameras that take better shots than action cam, I will stay with the DJI Pocket 2, which is the most useful camera right now for vlogging and even on taking on trips. You're not gonna use it for action camera uh, footage because it does have uh, a gimbal on it, which is very sensitive and uh, you don't wanna damage your gimbal. But uh, for anything else, traveling, vlogging, and uh, yeah, any other type of uh, video footage you wanna you want to take this little camera is absolutely amazing it looks good at night too 
got a little more noise than the Sony. Mind you, the Sony's got a one inch chip. This little camera does not, but it's still bigger than any cell phone chip and bigger than the average chip in any other camera as well that's this small, or at least bigger than any other action cam. All right, folks, uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna cut this short. Uh, it's actually pretty long, but I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know that we are the manufacturer of the world's fastest scooters. And if you do want uh, a free scooter, we do give them away here on our channel. Just subscribe, like, and comment. If you do that, you'll get put in a hat and uh, we'll have a lucky draw at 10,000 subscribers and 10,000 subscribers thereafter. So yeah, follow me, hit that notification bell. The more uh, videos you, you subscribe to, I mean, the more videos you like and comment on, you'll get, uh, you'll get picked to go in a hat. Not everybody goes in a hat, but if you do like and comment on my videos, you'll get picked to go in a hat. So, all right, until next time, I'm Chris Dallas. Thanks for coming to my channel. Peace out.